CB Academy here to talk about paperwork and process when purchasing a vehicle from a customer and typically what you need before you go to that customer home and you purchase that particular vehicle you're definitely going to make sure that they need the title tag receipt or registration anything showing verification of VIN to the vehicle and typically in most cases they'll tell you to come out take a look at the vehicle but in our case we want to definitely show you the right way of doing it in a better way. Make sure to have the customer snap a picture of whatever proof of ownership they have to the vehicle besides the bill of sale because anybody can write a bill of sale for anybody's vehicle. If it's not tying them to the vehicle and it's not in their particular name, you do not purchase that vehicle whatsoever. We do not endorse you know, theft of vehicles or anything like that. And definitely when they send the paperwork over, you schedule a time with the customer and you go out you take a look at the vehicle. And typically what you want to do is you want to come over here, you want to definitely take a look at the VIN numbers that they have on that particular vehicle right here. It's in the window right here, 17 numbers on the VIN. Right, right here, when you open the door, you have a VIN number right there as well. And in some cases, you'll have some customers, you know, and thieves, real slick, try to change VIN numbers up. But typically what you can do is when they send you the VIN number, you go to NICB.org. It's a national data crime based system where you put the VIN numbers in and it lets you know if the vehicle was stolen, insurance rate, and etc. And we have other applications as well. We can talk about that in a later course. But typically when you're buying a vehicle, you want to make sure you definitely cross your T's and dot your I's when it comes to the paperwork and follow by any state law that when you're buying a vehicle because you do not want to be out here buying stolen vehicles and get burned. Typically, that's what it is. And of course, hey, if we have an H2, I'm sorry, H3 Hummer, um, you have the nickel plated wheels as well. And here, um, the catalytic converters have been cut. They typically come with three, you can see as well. And so when you're buying a vehicle, you definitely want to make sure you check out the overall schematics of the vehicle and make sure that everything is intact and make sure that your paperwork is in order upon arriving to the customer house. And typically at the end of each day, you process your paperwork, put it on cloud, file it away. So just in case of a vehicle ever comes up stolen or anything like that, you have your paperwork to show verification that you bought it for that particular customer. You bought the vehicle from that particular customer, I'm sorry, and that you snap a picture of their ID or you do a thumbprint so you can have that on file as well. If a customer does not want to do that, you do not buy their vehicle because you're out there doing a service to buy their vehicle and getting the vehicle removed from their particular property. But you always want to make sure that you follow protocol and have paperwork in hand and they have paperwork as well. And this is Dave signing off.